Welcome to Buddy RC. My name is Dan, and today I have for you the new charger from ISDT. This is the Air 8 Smart Charger. If you notice that this is a specially marked box, while supplies last, open the box. In this box, they include a 4S and a 6S BatGo plug-in for your balance lead. You get the instruction manual, comes with it. It comes with a screen protector. And then you get the small but fierce package. This charger is an 80 by 80 millimeter, 30 millimeters thick. It is a 500 watt charger. It only weighs 170 grams, so this will fit in a flight pack, take it to the field very comfortably. Let's go over a few specs. Like I said, it's a 500 watt charger. The maximum current is a 20 amp output. The input voltage, it's a 10 volt to a 30 volt input power supply. The output is a one to 35 volt output. The balance current on this is a maximum of 1.5 amps. The charge current on this will go from 0.1 to 20 amps. The discharge current on this is 0.1 to 1.5 amps. The discharge power is a 15 watts max. Let's plug it in and we'll go through the setup and the steps. So today for this video, I'm going to use a 2600 four cell from Glacier with the 4S BatGo air plug-in that is supplied in the box. So the first thing you'll want to do is go to the Google Play Store or the App Store and you're going to want to download the Bat Air app and the ISD link. In the Bat Air app, you're going to want to set up your battery. So we are going to make sure that this is connected. It's showing unknown battery. So you're gonna get an unknown battery for the first time you plug in the Bat Air. So you wanna click on that. So the initial setup I'm going to do is a LiPo battery, 4S. The charge rate on this is 5C, so that's 5C. The current rate on this discharge rate Continuous discharge is 30C, so we're going to change that to 30. The capacity on this is a 2600. The manufacturer is a Glacier. Okay, and then we're going to hit save. So now you have, you can see right here, you've got a 4S battery. It's at 2600, 22% charge. Your cell voltage is 15.179. And then here's each individual cell reading. So once you have that set up, now we are going to go to the ISD link. Now for this purpose, I have a power supply we're gonna plug in the battery. You'll see right here it says DCN. So once you plug in the once you plug in the battery, you're gonna notice that right here on the ISD T, ISD link, you'll see that it says Air 8 standby. So right now my link my phone is talking to this charger. So you're going to plug in the battery and you'll see, you'll notice that the air bat is talking to it. Once you hear the beep, the ISDT charger, let's move it this way a little bit. Now that you, you hear the beep, you'll notice that the ISDT charger will give you each individual cell reading. So it is getting the voltage per cell from the bat air wirelessly to the charger. So once I plug it in, 
I'm gonna hit the button one time. On my phone, I will press the air eight. So you press the press the button on the air bat one time, you'll see a yellow and green light flash. Once that happens, then you'll get all your readings on your phone at the current moment right now. You'll hit the center button. Here's your task settings. We're gonna charge 4.2. We'll change the current to the 5C. Yeah, for purposes, I'll just pick six amps. Go down to start, hit start. Once the battery starts charging, you will get all the internal resistance. All your settings will be transferred to the phone. Okay. And as you can see from my phone, I get all the readings on my phone from the charger. Now the nice thing about this is if you have to walk away and you can monitor your battery, if you see something going wrong with the internal resistance or the cell count is too high, I have a stop button right here. I can hit, I can press this button on my phone and it will shut the charger off. So as you can see right there, the charger just shut off. So let's go through the options on this charger. So you wanna press and hold the center button. You've got your lowest input voltage, which is 10 volts. Maximum input power is 550 watts. Backlight, volume, completion tone, language, pick your language. Your theme is bright. Now this is a special section or function that I like. It's called keep trickle. Self-test, calibration, So you have your system info, you have your bat air function. It remembers the settings, so when you plug it in and hit start, it remembers your preset settings that you've already programmed in the bat air. So there, so there you have it. The ISDT Air 8 charger. It's a lot of power in a small package. So order yours today while supplies last. You'll see this specially marked package. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.